I am David Opasele. It's another beautiful morning here and in fact in Oka. Uh, it's been raining in some parts of Oka while some places is, is drizzling. And uh, the summation is that it is a cold morning. I don't know how you woke up. I expect that you must have um, uh, been able to rest as you should. This is Saturday morning. This is a day of rest. Or for those who go for exercises, this is the time to exercise and also uh, talk with the, talk and enjoy the weekend with your family. And that is the reason also that we are here every morning to help the discussion, to generate the discussion, to give you that thing to discuss about. And tomorrow will be June 12. It is now recognized in Nigeria as Democracy Day since 2017 when uh, the, since 2018 when the president uh, passed the law for June 12 to now be, become Democracy Day. So the day is now, especially after the Moshu Biola saga of 1993, 1994, when the election was cancelled and uh, people protested, had ways to do several things. And then the discussions of that year led or climaxed to 1999 when democracy formally started on May 29. May 29 was used to celebrate uh, the democracy day in Nigeria up till the government of President Buhari who said in honor of the memories and the fight of those who uh, wanted to produce democracy in the Third Republic, let's begin to celebrate uh, democracy day on June 12. And that is why tomorrow we'll be celebrating democracy day in Nigeria. This morning on the show, we'll be looking at that angle. We want to look at 24 years after since we started consistent unbroken democracy in Nigeria. What are the lessons? What are the things that we want to learn? What are the improvements we've had in our laws that can help us to advance better in the process? It is also more, than, more important at this point in time because we are just eight months away from the general elections in Nigeria. What are the things that we should prepare ourselves ahead of 2023 to ensure that we sustain this democracy? I welcome you again. But first, Let's bring you newspaper review for this morning. You're welcome back to the program. Uh, it's still the weekend show. I will bring you newspaper review. Now, we look at some stories before us. We begin as usual from ABS website. The story is there. An state government gets tough against criminals, demolishes, kidnappers, hideouts in Oba, Idemli South Council area. An government debunks report on sack of teachers. Anambra residents appeal to INEC to decentralize CVR towards markets and churches. We also have ABS launches special request cards to celebrate Bishop Opaleke, designated cardinal by Pope Francis. Those are the stories that we have this morning on ABS website. From ABS website, we move to Saturday Independent newspaper. This morning, the big story on the Saturday Independent says 2023, how choice of running mate will determine Buhari's successor. Khan warns APC, PDP against Muslim Muslim ticket. Wike Okowa, Hedeo Hanaman, lobby stakeholders to run with, to run with article. I didn't pay tribute to Tinibu says so, uh, Soinka. Death of Rivers APC stalwarts won't be in vain, says Peter Side. UK promises to support NDLA with one million pounds. We also have killers of Fasorati's daughter to die by hanging. Or will massacre Akredolu false federal government a swap claim. I cried my eyes out. I was the day I was ordained, peace or kung fu. We also have other stories making the headline on the front page of the Saturday 
Independent newspaper this morning. From the Saturday Independent, we move to the Leadership Weekend, of course. It is a season of politics and uh, political stories are making the banner headlines across the papers. On Leadership Weekend, we have APC Presidential Primary, how we settled for Tinibu. El Rufai says irresponsible people injecting religion into politics, governance. Khan rejects Muslim Muslim ticket. Candidate continues reconciliatory moves. Shoinko denies congratulating him. We also have court sentences killers of Fashorati's daughter to death by hanging. We have longest serving emir in Zamfara dies at 94. Nigeria records 110 cases of monkeypox in 12 states. FIRS challenges states embarks on monitoring of VAT compliance. We also have, my goal is to make young women financially independent. Kitten while we also have federal government, RCEN, launch gas-powered vehicles nationwide. Also, uh, there is APC ticket who lost the battle, not the war. Vice President Dolapo Sibanjo consoles husband, Atiku host forum of former PDP governors. There are other stories also on that front page and on the cup pages of uh, the Leadership Weekend this morning. From the Leadership Weekend, we will move to Saturday Telegraph. And on the front page of Saturday Telegraph, we have APC tickets. How Amon Shu Omisoro acted as Tinibu's eyes, ears as presidency, NWC. We also have Ganduje others prevailed on Badaru to support ex logos governor after Jonathan Snow show. Cabal's indecision in fighting played into Tinibu's hands. Nothing wrong with Muslim Muslim ticket, says El Rufai, says focus should be on capacity. Presidency, Antiko appears to Juan Poisson to step down bid. We also have CBN issues revised guidelines for non-interest financial institutions instruments. INEC releases 209 additional machines for CVR exercise for Southeast, Lagos, and Kano. Abuja Council in Brogrio, angry demonstrators breach security, hold workers hostage. Akira Dolu to federal government, I don't agree ISWAP responsible for Owo massacre. We have uh, the riders there. We will protect ourselves from now on. Bishop, we are dealing with the domination obsessed elements we are dealing with domination of obsessed elements says Shoinka. court sentences killers of afeniferes leader's daughter to death convictions chose federal government in denial over perpetrators of attacks uh, that's say uh, that is from afenifere responding from the saturday telegraph we move to the daily trust newspaper this morning on the front page of the Daily Trust Saturday, at running mates, Atiku Tinibu options as cans push for contenders. PDP's NWC governors divided over Wike Okowa Odom Emmanuel. Khan kicks as Asiwaju's camp considers Muslim Muslim ticket. Fixation of Nigerians on religions on religion pathetic. El Rufai. Netflix is redefining Nollywood. Ten years after, pain, Sora's host communities poised for showdown with Olam Farm. Our wives have fled due to hunger, husbands. We've improved their lives, Koi says. UK promises £1 million support to end the LEA as Marwa seeks more help. How IDPs are making fortunes from misfortune. Three killers of a Fenifere leader's daughter to die by hanging. Meet Kanu woman bringing e-commerce to local markets. Those are the stories on the Daily Trust newspaper this morning. From the Daily Trust, we look at Saturday Vanguard. Uh, 2023, P2B receives LP certificate of return, promises to create jobs. Or were killings, heartbroken woman who lost husband and daughter now wants to take her life. Uh, riders on the page, now how her son soiled himself with blood to deceive killers. We will henceforth protect ourselves, ourselves, churches, Catholic Bishop of Ondo Diocese. Nigerians are tired of government condolences to bereaved families. Activist says, or what terror attack or a message to us, so in We also have what I predicted about Tinibu 
Article Buare, Nigeria, Dr. Dele Shobowale. We buy military uniforms for 20,000 to operate kidnap gang. Exposes identity of arms suppliers. That's a terrible one there. APC, the intrigues that swallowed Buari's secret candidates. Killers of Afeniferous leaders, leaders' daughter sentenced to death. Verdict shows criminals aren't above the law, says Afenifere. CVR surge, INEC deploys more machines to Southeast, Lagos, and Kano. From uh, the Vanguard newspaper, we move to another busy front page, and that is the po Saturday Punch newspaper this morning. It is still the politics of selecting the running mates for uh, the PDP and the APC. Article to consult OB Kwankwaso Tinibu considers Lalong, El Rufai, SGF, others. XVP, PDP, fear regional divisions in Southeast. North may work for APC candidates. Former Lagos governor moves to Dow's Muslim Muslim ticket tension. There are other stories there. I feel naked losing wife five days after she gave birth to tri triplets, Oshun Security Guard says. How fire me, Ababio, Tambuwal, others wasted over one billion naira on flippant presidential ambitions. Smuggling boom smuggling booms at Semeboda. Smuggling booms at Semeboda eighteen months after reopening. I don't fancy being asked to skip protocol. Pitied over disability. Up and coming rap artist Oluwatosin. We also have Lagos Ogun Rivers lead as states as state domestic debts rise to four point eight trillion naira. Equity pool, SDP, PDP alleged planned harassment. APC disagrees. There are other stories on the busy front page of the Saturday Punch newspaper. Pick a copy and get the details of the stories we just read and more. And then finally on the Nigerian Tribune. On the front page of the Nigerian Tribune, we have the story making the headline, 2023 presidential race will resist Muslim Muslim tickets. Can one Tinibu article. Killers of Afeniferous leader's daughter to die by hanging. Deadly attacks on churches. Christians who mobilize for self-defense. Catholic Bishop says, Akredolu tackles federal government over ISWAP claims. Nine killed houses. Palace burnt in Kogi communal clash. Woman tells court after feeding, clothing my husband. After feeding, clothing my husband, he now threatens to kill me. My friend made me marry disastrously. Jobless man says. Uh, June 12th anniversary. PDP, APC, Labour Party candidates to storm Lagos for MKO tomorrow. How we terrorize Northern states suspect kidnappers who killed. Girl for resisting rape testifies. Those are the stories on the front page of the Saturday Tribune this morning. Remember to get the details of these stories and more. You can visit your vendor or visit any of the websites of the newspapers we read this morning. For ABS website, go to www.absradiotv.com or follow us on our Facebook pages at Anambra Broadcasting Service on YouTube at Anambra ABS Radio TV at YouTube.com. Those are the places for you to engage, get the details of the story, and see a lots of videos and news stories as they break wherever you are across the world. Thank you for joining us this morning. We'll now bring you our discussion segment. Stay with us.